welcome back. I crack it out. I skipped the the cracking portion. Uh, taking the book out of the slab because I figure nobody need to see that anymore. We all know how to do that, right? Uh, but here you have the book. First time I have saved this book uh, to crack it out and videotape it so that uh, we can all enjoy the book together for the first time. Beautiful cover. This one has a long crease right there in the front. Um, you know, as in, you know, there's a, often people say, you know, what's the maximum grade you can get on a book that have a crease that run all the way down, as in this book? 6.0, okay? Um, as you can see, the crease is more pronounced when you open it in the, the inside. Just look at the beautiful, this is the really, really nice paper quality as far as white. Look at that. I'm not sure what the labels say, but damn. Look at how nice and white and vibrant the color is of the, the that's, okay. Look at that. Of course, after I shot this video, I will sit through and flip through it again and read it next time. But for now, I'm just gonna, there's a micro chamber paper inside. As you know, I will save them and use it. There's no need to throw it out. I'm not a, a, a hardcore believer that uh, I need to put micro chamber paper in everything, but let's look at how beautiful this book is. Oh my goodness. And, you know, I don't crack out a lot of books, but uh, when ever I do that, it is definitely a keeper. This book will probably stay in my collection as long as possible. Um, you know, if I have to narrow down my collection to the final 300, no doubt this will be in it. You know, right now, I still have about 3,000 books left in my collection, so within the next 10 years, as I keep weeding out the books, bring it down to the final 300 or so, this book will likely be in that group. That's why I crack it out of the slabs so I can enjoy it for the next decade or so. Beautiful, great stuff. You know, every time I flip through a Golden Age book, I can't help but notice, notice that um, the coloring inside is just so vibrant. Vibrant. I'm just enjoying the page. Let it soak in. You know, when I come down to Golden Age, when I say, you know, the color is vibrant, but at the same time, inconsistent in many ways, as you can see, you know, they use, the, the, the purpose of using different colors in the background is more to make the page pop, I think, right? Because if you look at how things are color, it makes little sense. It's white, you know, it's red there, it's yellow here, or this color, whatever that is, or, or green there, right? White is not used often. <laughs> not like in, you know, the silver or bronze or later, you know. Back then, it's more about filling in the background with colors that make the panel pop. Look at these old ads. Look at swell prices. You 
you know that's part of pop culture you right look at all these old ads awesome I have this issue as well. Superman went through quite a few iteration of uh, the symbols on his chest. For those that pay attention to uh, what it looked like in Action 1 to this one. And then of course through the many decades of revision. Since I will be reading this again um, later, I will pay more attention to the stories. But for now, I'm just trying to flip through the pages as quickly as I can. Back in the old days, you know, back whenever I flip through these Golden Age books, you know, you can see that there's a lot. They put a lot in there. You get your money worth, in my opinion, for 10 cents. Not that many ads, and you get a lot more than 20 page. A lot more. Like I said, you know, there's always a charm to Golden Age coloring because it's all over the place. Like I said, fill in the panels with color, regardless if it makes no sense. <laughs> orange. You have orange sky, red sky, pink sky, you name it. All kinds. Just a classic looking golden age face right there. This book page quality is incredible. As I flip through it, the page feels so soft. Supples feel like it was printed just recently, not 50 years ago. Well, actually, no, more than that, more like uh, 70 years ago. You know, sometimes I forget how old these books are. And even um, if you talk about Bronx, it's hard to believe that uh, many Bronx books are 50 years old. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but at the same time, give everyone a chance to at least enjoy the art. 
probably too fast for anyone to try to read the story. Look at all the text and dialogue, right? Compared to today, compared to modern books, you can go through pages with barely five words. <laughs> Baby roof. Here's Superman on the radio. Wow, look at that. Oh, look. Batman 5 on sales. You know, back in those days, you have a lot of in house ads. Look at that. That's like two page right there. All Flash, wow, number one, All Star number five, wow. Here's the other piece of Michael Chamber paper. World Finest. Oh, look at that. Issue number two. And that's the end. Fireworks. I didn't know they were selling fireworks back then. I think that's probably one of the first time I saw fireworks ads. Could be wrong, but just look at that. Often when you have a golden age book, the interior is all brown and yellow. Look at this. That's nice, right? That's brighter than many uh, silver age books that I have. Gorgeous copy. Beautiful. Not that much uh, major flaws in the back cover. And that's it, my friend. Hopefully you have enjoyed the flip through of this book. Until next time, bye-bye.